Good morning. It is a very bright early start. I'm speaking a bit quietly because there's still a few people asleep in the house. Um, away from home and um, got my, love these pyjamas. I actually bought this as a gym top. Um, I haven't been going to the gym, just wearing it as pyjamas. My little silk shorts. Um, it's a beautiful day. It's 15 degrees and I am turning 31 tomorrow. So it's the day before my birthday and I am heading to Henley. Um, so I'm going to be meeting my best friend tonight and we are staying in such a cool place. So we're going to have a really fun night tonight and then wake up um, on my birthday with her and there's something in the room that's just incredible that I cannot wait to get to because I've been looking at photos and it just looks amazing. Oh, I knew there was a reason I was in here. I always forget what I'm about to tell you and then get sidetracked. Um, I have been trying for the first time um, retinol on my face which I was really nervous about doing and I used an Olay um, eye cream last year which was retinol and I loved it. And so I've decided to start a whole like retinal skincare routine. So um, this is what I've been using. I don't know very much about retinol, um, but this one is a Sunday Riley serum. So I started this when I got here about four days ago. And this says it's got 6.5% retinol blend, which I think is quite a high dose. So I only put that on at night time. Um, and then I've also been using Murad, um, and this is a Retinol Youth Night Cream. It's lovely, it's like really soft when you put it on. And then I've been using their, where is it? Massively um, disorganized bag. Um, oh yeah, here it is. Oh, that's another thing I wanna show you. Huh, so many things. Um, vitamin C day cream, because I don't wanna use Retinol in the day, because I think you're meant to be careful in the sun when you use retinol i don't know maybe give me your advice if you guys have tried retinol because i'm trying it for the first time i don't want my skin to suddenly like go really sensitive um ooh, and also i've been trying aluminium free deodorant and to be honest i'm not really sure how i feel about it because i tweeted ages ago saying i was worried about aluminium in deodorants it seems really weird speaking this quiet um and this was the only cream I could find and it's by Onsen, it's a Japanese one and I don't think it's that great. It's like quite refreshing when it goes on but it like doesn't keep you sort of smelling nice after about three hours I can like smell myself and that's why I like the Dove and the Shore ones because they um, don't do that so if anybody knows of an aluminium free cream because I can't use the roll-ons or sprays they just don't work please let me know. Um, so yeah, I was a bit disappointed with that one. That's, I'm not going to buy that one again. I think that's my update to skincare routine and I really need to pack now and um, head off. Loaded up with shed loads of balloons. It ain't going to be a party. I've got six. Filled with confetti. Basically taking out most of the car. Oh my gosh, I'm so red and so hot and so excited and I forgot to film when I got here because I got in the room and got straight outside which I'm just going to show you in a second because it is the most amazing room I have ever stayed in ever. So basically I am um, in Henley and I'm at the Hotel Divan and we always come here every year um, because we go to the um, Rowan Regatta so I've always posted on my Instagram, I know a lot of you guys come here as well and so I am spending my pre-birthday night with my BFF who is on her way from London um, and she hasn't got here yet so I just started enjoying the room and then got a bit carried away and forgot to show you so I thought I'd give you a little bit of a room tour because um, it's amazing. So it's a really old, beautiful building with massive windows. I'm so sorry I'm so hot, but all will be explained in a second. Um, so yeah, this is the downstairs bit with a little table and chair. And then we have the biggest, most amazing bed. 
I will sleep so well in that tonight. Um, big TV, then we've got a downstairs toilet, but then, oh my gosh, it's basically a double room. Well, like a two level room. So you go upstairs. <laughs> I was so excited about staying in this room. I was literally texting Gemma. I was like, oh my gosh, look at this. So then you come up to like the bath of all baths. Oh my goodness. And a massive, big, beautiful shower. And then the living room, which is probably going to be used for having a few cheeky gin and tonics honestly this bathtub is ridiculous it's massive i haven't managed to have a bath in that yet but because one bathtub isn't enough for birthday celebrations it has a bathtub on the balcony and i'm really annoyed that i didn't film this earlier because um it's now dark so i'm going to show you in the morning as well so you can see this is it look i put my little balloons on the balcony so you go outside and there is the most gorgeous roll top bath that looks over henley and that's the river there honestly this is just amazing so i sat in the bath and i watched the sun go down over there and the sky was really pretty and pink so i put all my little confetti balloons with little stars in and then there is a little sitting area here which is really sweet where we have a cup of tea in the morning that did have chocolate strawberries on but i ate them all um gemma's dairy free so that's fine she won't be too annoyed that i stuff my face with all the strawberries but how beautiful is this oh my goodness i just don't think i have ever or will ever stay in a room like this again and the stars are just coming out if you can see them on there there it's going to be a really nice clear night tonight as well so hopefully we can have like a little jacuzzi bath outside and watch all the stars in the sky this is just so perfect few days and I ended up going out for lunch for my birthday and then just having a really chilled what are you doing you're digging she's digging um a really chilled night in with fish and chips and champagne with my family um and I literally just went to bed because I was exhausted um so it was lovely and I've just um got round to packing again B always tends to hide in the suitcase because she knows that I'm going um but she's actually coming with me this time I just had the most amazing life-changing email and when I say that like I know I get very excited about things but genuinely everything and when i say everything i mean everything is about to change and i had a little bit of a um moment the other day and i was like i i'm gonna make some massive massive changes in my life and then i did it and it just happened a lot quicker than i thought any of my friends watching this that I've already been too excited to blurt it out to will know exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm 
kind of going to be able to tell you, I think in a few weeks time. Um, and my whole life is literally about to change, which is not an over exaggeration. Um, but I just wanted to share this moment with you. Um, and it's the best birthday news ever. And I don't know, I just turned 31. I decided that I was going to make changes and yeah, I can't quite say anything else yet because I just have to sort one more thing and then I can share all, um, guess as to what it is below. But uh, yeah, it's it's probably the biggest thing I've ever done in my life. Um, so I'm excited. I thought before I go, I would show you what I got for my birthday because I haven't filmed a what I got for my birthday video. So I thought I'd just do it in this one because um, I got some really nice prezzies. Um, I just wanted to see people on my birthday this year, but um, I got some really nice things, um, including lots of flowers. My house is like a florist um, at the moment. So the first thing that I got was from my little sister and how beautiful is this? It's from a company called, I have it on my email because I just ordered her the same thing for her birthday because she was like, I can't, her birthday was um, a couple of weeks ago, but she was like, don't get me a present. I want you to get me what I get you. So it's by Abbott Lyon, Abbott Leon. Um, and I'd never heard of them before. It's basically like a personalized um, bag. So you buy the bags and um, then you can put your initials on them. They have loads of different like really cute clutches and wallets. And then, oh my gosh, my friend got me this really cute purse. I love little hearts, it's so sweet. It's from a place called Shruti Designs. I've already started um, putting my cards in so I can use it, love that. And then my mama, she's got me some home furniture um, for the house, so some new house bits, which I'll be showing you in a different vlog. Um, and then she also got me a stock up of Jean-Paul Gaultier um, Intense. I'm saying into that was very intense. Um, this perfume is really nice and it's the only perfume that people ever comment on when I'm wearing it. And I don't find that the normal one stays on me very well, so I have to get the intense and it's quite expensive, but it's lovely. And I'm almost out of one ugh, that I have. That's how much I love it. Um, so thank you mummy. Um, then I got some gins because I love gins. Um, thank you to my friends that bought me gins. Um, I got the Whitney Neal rhubarb and ginger which is such a nice one. It's like my favourite rhubarb gin at the moment. Um, I'm loving rhubarb. And then I also got, oh this is rhubarb and ginger also. Oh, my friends know me well. Um, and that is the Edinburgh one. It actually tastes really nice with ginger as well as tonic. Um, and then, oh my gosh what I'm wearing. <laughs> BFF Gem, who you saw in the video um, earlier, she got me this really cool jumper. Oops, and I've been wearing it every hour, kind of, since I got it. I really like it. She was like, Do you like it? I was like, I really like it. I was like, That's really, really different for me, and I love it. Um, so thank you, Gem. I really like it. It's really cool. And she also got me, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It's so heavy. Um, this is a really cool like cheese and bread board from Anthropology. I love the home stuff. Really cool. I've got a couple of bits and bobs from them. Um, and it's marble. You can kind of put whatever you want on it. But it will go on my new table that my mum's bought me. Um, oh, my friend Annie bought me the Tea Party collection, which is a collection of candles from Next that are all different teas. Matcha tea, white tea, jasmine tea. It smells so good. I texted her when I opened it. I was like, you just know me so well. Um, and then um, one of my friends got me this and she was like, you will understand why I'm buying you this. I have to explain because you already have so much makeup. And it is the Revlon, come into focus you little thing. There we go. Um, it's the Revlon Balm Stain and it's in shade Irresistible. Um, and basically, how many of you remember the soap, soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker and you used to be able to do this and it smelled vanilla -y and lovely and then they discontinued it and it was really annoying, really annoying. Um, and we both loved that product. It was one of the first things I ever talked about when I started my YouTube channel. And um, yeah, she found this and said it's like identical. It smells a bit mintier, um, but apart from that, I'm gonna give it a whirl, so I'm very excited. Um, oh my friends, 
<laughs> this is really sweet. This is one of my favourite photos of me and B. It was a, um, a little Christmas time thing that we did and that's me with my little black top on, you can't really see me, and then holding B and I just love it. Another friend got me this, which is really cute because I have in almost every single room little hearts um, and it kind of reminds me of like French little wicker like chalet hearts. So again, I can decide where this goes, maybe in the window somewhere, which is really cute. Um, and then I got a plant because nothing says birthday, happy birthday, like a plant. And I'm really obsessed with my house plants at the moment. Oh, look, she's asleep. Lots of you have been asking how she's doing. She's so much better. She's still really skinny, so I'm trying to put some weight on her, but she's doing so much better. Just a lot of cuddles needed, a lot of love, but we are getting back on track. She's like got this cheeky new side to her now that she's better. Um, oh, and then I went to pick my PO box up because I've been away. I've got a big bag of stuff. I was going to show you guys a few bits and see what's inside. Probably the ugliest background with a um, radiator, <laughs> but there we go. Um, this massive box arrived from Avon and I really like Avon stuff. They're bringing out loads of stuff at the moment. So Eve Truth. This is for Mother's Day. Oh, ooh, that's, there's a perfume and then, oh, isn't that nice? My mummy would like that a lot. Um, and reading, it's 14 pounds. That's ridiculous, worth 32. And it's got a nail polish in, um, it's got a spray, a body lotion, an oil, um, a oil cream, face stuff, Avon, um, oh that's really nice, a Planet Spa face mask. What a cute little collection. No, that can't be right. Oh my gosh, I got it wrong. You buy the perfume for £14 and then you get all of that for free? What? That is amazing. Oh, it's got peony in it. My mum loves that. Oh my gosh, that's such a good present for Mother's Day. £14, ridiculous. Oh, I opened these up and I thought it was a HelloFresh food delivery. And Elemis had got all these little like fresh bags. And I was like, what is this? So the Feed Your Skin, um, they've got a super food range, which um, I talked about probably almost a year ago. Um, and I loved it. It was the only range that I was like, mm, not sure about the smell but I love the product like it worked so 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 well and they have added I think some more bits so they've added a tea mist um a black currant jelly exfoliator a berry boost mask and a veggie mask superfood black currant jelly exfoliator this range honestly i would recommend this so much um as much as i'm a fan of the rest of their stuff which you know i'm like the biggest elemis fan although i didn't initially love 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 the smell of this because it's more not vegetably that's the wrong word but it's like it smells quite healthy oh my gosh this range made such a difference to my skin what else have we got? Ooh. Um, Marc Jacobs, which I love. I love Marc Jacobs nail polishes. They've got a volumizing mascara and a, a velvet lash primer. Oh my gosh, look at that tube. Marc Jacobs have the prettiest packaging. So you would put the primer on before. I'll try and um, try this out on my Instagram to show you what they're like. Um, oh my gosh, that's so cute. Look at the packaging. It's like a hexagon. Is it a hexagon? I bet that looks amazing. I've had a Marc Jacobs mascara and it was very like liquidy and luxurious and lovely. Oh my gosh, these are... <laughs> This is actually a present for my sister and a couple of other my friends because I saw them online and I was like, I'm buying these and I um, they're a bit late arriving. I have one of these and it's hilarious. I got it off Amazon. Britney survived 2007. You can handle today. Isn't that the most hilarious mug? Like for those of you that remember Britney Spears' breakdown when she like literally smashed a car with an umbrella and shaved her head. I just feel like we all have days where we need this bug and then we just have to remind ourselves she nailed that year and got through it. So if she did, 
you can too. <laughs> They're like a fiver off Amazon and it's the best thing. I saw these online. Kiehl's bought out a um, love oil for the lips. So they were um, kind of around Valentine's Day. How cool are these? They've got um, coconut oil in. They've got cacao butter. Loads of different seed oils. Cast seed oil. Fruit oil. Sheer butter. Sunflower. They're coloured as well. So they do a little pink one red ones really sweet so that is my unboxing um i need to pack and then i'm going to be taking you guys on the next trip um i don't know why i did that but i'm in a very good mood today i hope you are having a wonderful wonderful week i'm just really happy i think because b's home and i've got my little baby and dream team reunited um so i will see you guys in my next video for now goodbye happy birthday to me